The Grand Power Streebog versus the CZ Evo 3 Micro. Let's check it out. Nine millimeter carbines that are in the pistol form are the rage. A lot of people are buying different type nine millimeter pistols that are typically designed as carbines or even submachine guns. Uh, we have two here that are very reasonably priced. You have your Grand Power Streebog and then you have your CZ Evo 3 Micro Scorpion. These are two excellent options in nine millimeter. Yes, there are a lot of others out there. But for the price, these two are very reasonable, and yet the quality is excellent. Both were first designed as submachine guns, so they're tough as nails. But there are a lot of differences between them, and we're going to take a look at them. Uh, guys, I'll tell you, just to be honest with you, I love both of these firearms. But there are some advantages and disadvantages to both. And if you're looking for one, hopefully we'll give you a little bit of food for thought. Now, CZ sent the Evo 3 S2 Micro uh, for the original test and evaluation as a T&E gun, and I'm purchasing it. Uh, when it comes to the Streebog, this actually came directly from Grand Power, uh, and this is a special suit edition. We'll talk about it when we get on the tabletop. But I just wanted to go ahead and disclose where these are coming from. And the CZ Evo 3 S2 Micro has changed some. They've discontinued this model. They do now have a folding stock version, but it's pretty much very similar to this configuration. Now, there are a lot of similarities between these two, uh, and we'll look at those first. Uh, first off, they're both 9mm. They're both in the pistol form of a submachine gun designed firearm. Uh, made for the military, Czech military, Slovakian military. Both have a very rich history as far as their countries for developing firearms, very high quality firearms. Both have polymer receivers underneath. Both have backup sights. Uh, these are metal, they're fully adjustable. These are pop-up sights. And we're gonna kind of look at that a little closer in just a minute, but these actually fit flush. Both have non-reciprocating charging handles. Both have M-lock handguard areas. Both are half by 28 thread. Both have 30 round and 20 round magazines available. Both have one of the dual mass bolts. That means they have a really heavy bolt in here to facilitate the functioning of a fully automatic firearm. And both have a lot of ambidextrous controls. So let's go ahead and make sure the guns are unloaded. We're gonna drop the 30 round magazine. Check to make sure that the gun is unloaded. Drop the magazine, check the bolt, and we're empty. Now on the CZ, we do have the metal sights. Uh, we have a different apertures here on the back. We can go all the way from open to uh, target, so you can get really small. Uh, this is fully adjustable. Here at the front, we have a post that's very much like an AR-15 style. And again, these are metal. Here with the Streebog, we just have some flip-up sights, but they do ride flush with a Picatinny rail. So you can pop these up. And uh, it does have an aperture at the back. You have a front sight. You can adjust for elevation. Uh, these sights, though, it's a peep sight, but it's pretty much dedicated. These are really quick and dirty, but they do work really well. These originally came as polymer, but they are now offered as metal sights. Now on the CZ, we have a PDW style brace, and you can just pull it straight out. Again, it is collapsible. You just press this to push it in, and then it locks into place. I'm pretty sure this is an SP tactical piece. We have a Manicore Arms adapter. Uh, now they've gone to a folding SB tactical brace, uh, and they no longer offer this with this firearm. Now this particular Streebog has one of the A3 tactical folding braces. Uh, this is a really sturdy all-aluminum piece. We have a gearhead tailworks hook on the back. And then you can just push this down and then deploy it, and it locks into place. This is a very stable brace. 
and then just push in and bring it back. This is an additional feature on the Strebog, but I believe Native Gun Pro Deals actually offers this package. Now on the CZ, we have a 4.12 inch barrel, and then we have this fake suppressor. This is an Osprey suppressor by Silencer Co. that is false. It's not real. Uh, you can remove this, and you do have half by 28 threads, so you can't attach a suppressor. With the Strebog, we have an 8 inch barrel, and we have it threaded at the end, and then of course we can take it off half by 28 threads. Both are M-Lock compatible. We have an HB Industries handguard at the front here. Both have accessory rails, and this one does come with one of the hand stops, uh, which I would highly recommend, especially with this short barrel. Uh, it would be a good idea to put one even on the street bog. The charging handle on the CZ is polymer, and you can bring it back and lock it just like you do on your HK, and you can hit it for an HK slap. Okay, on the street bog, the charging handle is a little bit longer. Uh, of course, there's no notch to put in it, but this is a non-reciprocating charging handle, just like the CZ. But this is the Gen 2. The original Gen 1 had a reciprocating handle, and if you had your thumb in the right place, you could get caught. <laughs> but uh, this works really well. And of course, on both of these, you can switch them to the other side very easily. Now on the CZ, you do have a short throw safety, red marks for fire. Uh, we do have a bolt release right here. You can hit it, and then we have your mag release, which is on either side of the trigger guard. And all you gotta do is push it and the mags come out. And it does have a flared mag well. We have our safety right here on the Strebog. And again, it's mirrored on the other side. We have our bolt release that's on either side right here. We can slam it home. And your mag release is ambidextrous. You hit it and it drops the mags. Also, beveled mag well. Now, one of the things about the controls is I tend to find the Strebog a little more user friendly. Uh, this is just a little bit different. For some reason, sometimes it throws me off. Uh, but with the Strebog, it seems like it's a little more in place. Uh, sometimes the bolt release is a little different because it's right up here, whereas the bolt release is a little bit larger on the CZ. But guys, one of the biggest differences between these two firearms is we have an all-aluminum upper receiver on the Strebog SP9A1. Whereas with the CZ Evo 3, all the CZs, they have a polymer housing and this is a polymer Picatinny rail. Now you're shooting pistols, so having a scope mount on here with a red dot, you're fine. But I think you're gonna get a little more stability with the all metal Picatinny rail that's monolithic across the top. The Picatinny rail here at the front of the CZ is metal, but back here, it's all polymer. Now that's strong and it's gonna last, it's gonna be great. But I really like the all metal construction of the Strebog. And as far as barrel length, I mean, you've got 4.12 inch barrel length here on the micro. You've got an eight inch barrel length on the Strebog. So you're gonna get a little bit better ballistics out of the Strebog. With the CZ, there's some lines in the front and some in the back, and it gives you a little bit of texturing, but it's pretty smooth. It does have a palm swell, which is nice. On the Strebog, we have very aggressive texturing all the way through. You have your lines. You even have a divot down here at the bottom that just allows for your hand to fit in very nicely, especially your pinky. Right here at the front of the mag well, we also have a lot of texturing here. And so to me, this is a pretty big upgrade for the Strebog. Now, you can get aftermarket grips to replace this if you want something different. This grip section just comes right off away from the receiver. On the Strebog, this is pretty much what you have. It is one solid piece all the way through. So they've been making aftermarket parts, though, for the CZ for a little longer. So there's a lot of parts out there. But guys, honestly, the Strebog is quickly picking up. But guys, when you're taking these two out to the range, uh, the CZ just seems to shoot a little flatter. I think the bolt's a little heavier in here, and it just seems to, you can get back on target quicker. And that was just my experience shooting quite a few rounds with both of them side by side. There's not a real big difference, but there is a slight difference with the CZ. Now here we have the original CZ Evo 3 S1. Uh, this one has the SB Tactical Brace, which you're going to have on this one from here on out. It is a folding brace. It just pops open, locks into place. I mean, it's nice, it's lightweight, it's pretty rubberized. The barrel on this is just under eight inches. I think it's seven and three quarter inches. Here you have the 4.12 inch barrel. But to be honest guys, it's only a couple of inches difference. And then here we have the Strebog SP9A1, and this is the Gen 1. So it has the reciprocating bolt, uh, and you gotta be careful. Again, with the Gen 2, it has the non-reciprocating. Now, I do have one of the Safety Harbor collapsible stocks, and this is a great stock, I love it. 
but it will not fit on the Gen 2. There's just a little bit of tolerance difference, and so these will only fit on the Gen 1. And this has the GearHead Tailworks hook on it as well. But the A3 tactical stock is excellent. And I've also included one of the HB Industries charging handles, so I have one on either side. And then I have the extended bolt release. And the CZ Evo 3 S1, guys, it's a lot of fun at the range. It's a really compact piece. And again, with the Micro, you're just going with a little bit smaller package. And you're going with shorter barrel length. Woo! Yeah! The magazines are very reasonable in price. And no, these are not Glock mags. No, they won't fit Glocks. <laughs> but these are made for the Slovakian military. It's the same magazines they use. And they are very strong and robust. Uh, it started out with the 20-rounders, and now we have the 30-rounders as well. Uh, these are great. They're translucent. You can see the rounds. When it comes to the CZ, you have a translucent mag already, so you're able to see it. It's just got a little bit of a smoke color to it. Here are the 20-rounders. Here are the Prepper gun shop mags, and this is actually from Manicor Arms, and it does have metal feed lips at the top. I really like these. Uh, I do have some of the PSA Evo 3 mags, but I just didn't have them on hand, and they're actually a black color. They're also designed for their AKV, which is in 9mm. It takes the CZ Evo 3 mags. And then here again, we have one of the F5 manufacturing 50 round drums. Now, I do have coming in one of the 50 round drums for the Strebog, and we haven't tested it yet, but that's coming from Nate at Gun Pro Deals, and he carries a lot of aftermarket parts for the Strebog and honestly for the CZ, and carries a lot of parts and accessories for them as well. But guys, there are a ton of upgrades for both of these firearms. Now we're going to check the CZ trigger pull. A little bit of take up right here. Hit a wall. We have some stacking and then we have a break. Reset right there. A little bit of stacking again and then a break. Now we have a metal trigger with the Strebog. We have a polymer trigger with the Scorpion. Wow. <laughs> that is an excellent trigger. There's a, just a tiny bit of take up and then a nice crisp break. Check reset right there. Reset's not as audible and tactile as it is on the CZ, but man, is it super fast. Let's check trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. We're going to do the Strebog first. Six pounds, 4.6 ounces. Let's check the Scorpion. Seven pounds, 9.7 .7 ounces. 8 pounds, 8.1 ounces. Now, taking these two out to the range, either one or both, is just a lot of fun. They're, they're light, they're handy, they're easy to maneuver. They are very reliable. Both have been extremely reliable, and, you know, we've just had great experience with both. Uh, one of the things about the Strebog is it seems to be a little heavier uh, because it's all metal on the top. It's not really that much heavier. Now, once they went to the non-reciprocating bolt, which was the Gen 2, you know, it really helped to match with the CZ. Now you can see that they are a little bit longer in length. The barrel length on the Strebog is a little bit longer, so you're gonna probably get a little better ballistics out of the Strebog. One of the things about the CZ, to me, it tracks a little better. There's not quite as much muzzle rise. I think that has a lot to do with the dual mass bolt that's in here because it is really heavy. But the Strebog has a pretty heavy bolt as well. And again, both of these are made as submachine guns, and now these are in semi-automatic version. Now, one other consideration that I found uh, with the CZ Evo 3 is that the controls are definitely different. Uh, you know, with the mag release that's right here next to the magazine, you're dropping it. Uh, the bolt release is just right above the trigger guard. You know, there are a few things about it. The safety, you know, is fine. It's in the right position, uh, but it can dig into your finger just a little bit. With the Strebog, to me, it's a little more intuitive. Everything seems to be a little bit easier to find, you know, while I'm at the range. Uh, if I'm shooting the CZ a lot, I get used to the controls. 
but switching things off and on different firearms, sometimes I lose it a little bit with the CZ, which with the Strebog, it seems to be a little more natural. The CZ sights are definitely a plus. Uh, they're good, it's robust, uh, they're easy to see. Uh, with the Strebog, they're inside the housing, so you pop them up, so it makes it very compact. You can write it down and you can shoot it without having the sights deployed with the little small notches on the original sights. Uh, we've put some metal sights on here, so we've lost that capability, but it's still a very low profile type sight. Uh, and honestly guys, most of us are going to run some kind of optic red dot on here anyway. But if you're using the sights, I think that the CZ is going to have a little more advantage to it. One thing I like about the CZ is I can bring back my bolt and lock it to the rear and I can do the HK slap. <laughs> That's just fun. Uh, but with the Strebog, you know, you're just pulling your bolt back. And again, with the non-reciprocating bolt handle, it makes it a lot better because I did catch my thumb a couple of times on the first model or the first gen. Now, I didn't really get into accuracy between the two. And one of the main reasons we've done reviews on both of these. But the main thing is I just wanted to get a feel for the two. Now one big difference is the price. Uh, with the CZ EVO 3 S2 Micro, these are running market price for about $1,100 or a little bit less. Uh, and sometimes they're difficult to find. Uh, when it comes to the Strebog, uh, these are running actually in this configuration with the A3 Tactical Brace, are running about $799. So the Strebog is definitely coming in at a much lower price point. Now talking about price, if you get the CZ EVO 3 S1, uh, they run about $780, but that does not include the brace. Uh, and the braces run in, up to $200 and the, finding the adapter. So that is gonna run the price up, getting closer to what your micro is. Uh, with the Strebog, without the brace, they run about $659. That still brings the price down quite a bit. And again, this whole package as you see it on Gun Pro Deals is like $7.99. Now guys, this is a special edition Strebog. Uh, and this is from Lucas at Grand Power. He follows my Sensible Prepper channel. And he saw some of the videos that we've done on the Strebog and just got in touch with me and said, Hey, I want to send you one that has a Such serial number. So Such 00 serial number and all the different parts are marked. And he has our logo right here. And I thought that was incredible. I really appreciate him doing that. I didn't ask him to do it, and it was really nice for him to send it. But that does not affect my opinion between this and the CZ, because I know the guys at CZ. They're great people, and I've worked with them. They've sent me TNE &E guns for a long time. You know, I do buy them when I get them. But, you know, it, this was just a really awesome thing, and I really appreciate Lucas for doing that. And also, Global Ordnance is the one that imports these, and they carry all the different Grand Power products. Uh, you can go to their website. Of course, they ship out to dealers. This is just the distributor. Now, let's wrap things up with a few pros and cons. Uh, one of the big things to me is you have an all-metal upper receiver on the Strebog, which I really like. I do like the 8-inch barrel over just the 4.12-inch barrel, but with the standard CZ, you're getting about an 8-inch barrel. Again, both of these are designed on submachine guns, so they're really built strong. Uh, I think that the CZ shoots a little flatter. I think that's a plus, but I think the trigger pull or the trigger action is a little less than the Strebog. A little more texturing on the Strebog with the grip, whereas we have more smoothness here, but you do have options. These adjustable sights are excellent. And while I like the flip down sights, I think that's a great idea. I would still put an optic on here uh, I like the CZ sights a little better, but they are a little more bulky. Now, CZ is a world-renowned company that everybody knows about. Grand Power is really coming up, but they still haven't cut their teeth in the U.S. market like CZ has. So you have some you know, credibility with CZ just straight out of the box. But one of the things is you've got a pretty large price difference. In this configuration versus this configuration, we're still talking about almost $300 difference. And so you have to decide, you know, is the name, is the other features here, the little bit softer shooting, is it worth it? Or is this worth it with the all metal construction, a little better texturing and a better price, a little bit longer barrel. So, you know, it's just things you weigh out because guys, once you buy it, the price really doesn't matter because you're going to be shooting it and enjoying it. And that's really the big thing. But $300 is $300.
But guys, overall, these are two excellent firearms. Uh, the CZ quality is well known. Strebog or Grand Power, which has been coming into the country now for a number of years, out of Slovakia, uh, they have really gained a huge reputation. Uh, so either one of these are excellent firearms. Both were made, again, and designed as full automatic submachine guns. And now we can have them as semi-automatics. So these are built to last. And again, guys, I want to thank Grand Power for sending the Strebog SP9A1 Gen 2. This is an excellent firearm. Again, there's a lot of accessories out there for these. And then again, CZ for sending the T&E version. And guys, there's a lot of accessories for this. So these, again, are two excellent options. Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market. And you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Whether it's your AR-15, uh, there's a lot of uh, got the magazine and the gun. What the heck was that? <laughs> what the heck was that? We have a 1.28 inch barrel. We have a one point. We we, we have a 1.2 inch barrel uh, with the. <laughs> Is, is they are getting a lot of aftermarket support. And so we have accuracy set up. But the main thing is, whoops.